Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Barcode Inventory Management System and in today's video tutorial I will be showing you the initial configuration required for this particular module after you installed it uh, successfully and we'll also be showing you how to generate the barcodes for the incoming shipment products, how to update the inventory manually and how to update the inventory by uh, scanning the barcodes. Apart from that, we'll also be showing you how to generate the barcode PDFs from the admin backend panel as well. So before I take you to the admin backend panel to show you the working of this particular plugin, uh, let me give you a small gist of uh, this uh, module itself. So basically this plugin allows the Magento 2 web store admin to generate barcodes for the incoming shipment. The product stock is automatically updated through barcode scanning after receiving the shipments from the supplier itself. Apart from that, the admin can generate the barcode PDF of a single and a multiple shipments as well. So uh, let's get a handle, let's see how this particular module works. So for that, I'll be taking you to the admin backend panel now. So here I'm at the uh, backend uh, panel of the uh, Magento 2 web store. So I've entered my username and password for the admin and I'll be tapping the sign in button to log into my uh, admin backend uh, panel right now. All right, so I've logged in. So after you've successfully installed this particular plugin uh, to make the initial configurations, you just need to navigate to stores, then configuration, and on the configuration page under the web pool block on the left, you need to tap on the barcode inventory management. Just tap on that, and that would bring up the general options for the barcode inventory management. And here we have two different options. So the very first option that we have is to enable barcode scanner. So basically you can choose a yes or a no for this option. So uh, if you choose a yes for this uh, enable barcode scanner, then this uh, module would be enabled and you'll be able to make use of the barcode inventory management system. And the second one is the scan code. So basically here you have this button that can be tapped. So you can tap on this particular button to open the pop-up so as to update the inventory in bulk so uh, these are the two basic options that are to be uh, configured initially uh, before making use of the uh, plugin so from here from this option actually we can basically update the inventory in bulk so I'll be showing you later so we have just enabled it and uh, after that you just need to tap on the save configuration button so now let's get in and let's see how uh, can we generate the barcodes for the incoming shipment products? So uh, this is uh, an add-on for the uh, purchase management uh, module. So before making use of uh, the barcode inventory management plugin, you must have uh, successfully purchased and installed the purchase management for the Magento 2, 2 platform plugin. So uh, to uh, generate the barcodes for the incoming shipments, what we need to do is we need to navigate through purchase management and we need to tap on the incoming shipment sub menu option as you can see here and this brings up a list of uh, incoming shipments uh, and the admin can basically view all of the a list of all of the incoming shipments that are there so here the admin can tap on the uh, order or the incoming shipment basically that uh, uh, has a status of ready to receive so let me tap here on uh, the uh, click to response under the actions column and this would bring the details of this particular incoming shipment as you can see here so here we have the items ordered along with the barcode as well and uh, from here the admin will get the barcodes for the incoming shipment products automatically so you just need to come into the uh, into the respective uh, incoming shipment order and there you'll find the barcode for each of the products that are there within that particular uh, uh, incoming shipment so uh, let me go back and let me again tap on the incoming shipments so uh, let me show you one more example of that so let's uh, tap on this particular incoming shipment so let me tap on click to response under the actions column so here we can see that this particular incoming shipment has two different products and here you can see the barcode is there uh, to be used uh, by the admin so uh, so that's how the admin can get the barcodes of the incoming shipments uh, automatically. So he just needs to come into the uh, menu option that is purchase management and then incoming shipments and then just tap on the particular uh, incoming shipment uh, purchase order and tap on the click to response. And within that, you'll be able to 
uh, find the barcodes uh, that have been assigned, assigned to the products automatically. Now, uh, uh, let me show you how the admin would be able to update the inventory manually. So uh, basically for that, uh, the admin uh, needs to navigate again through purchase management and then incoming shipments. And here the admin needs to tap on the incoming shipment. So I'll just click to response here. And this would bring up the details of this particular shipment. Now, after uh, getting the shipment from the supplier, the admin will update the inventory basically. So uh, the admin can uh, manually update the inventory of the shipment uh, products individually as well. And for this, uh, the admin can tap on the update link uh, basically here under the actions column. So I just need to tap here on the update stock uh, option that we have or the link that we have and tapping that up uh, basically makes the uh, shipment as received successfully. So basically that's how the admin can uh, manage the inventory uh, manually by going individually to each of the products that are within that particular uh, incoming shipment. Now let me show you how we can do that in bulk. So for that I'll just go back to one more incoming shipment that we have. So let me click here on the click to response on the actions column. So to bulk uh, update the inventory of the shipment products, uh, what I need to do is here you can see update inventory at the top. All right. So here you can see that we have a number of products within this uh, incoming shipment. To update uh, the inventory manually one by one, you can tap here on the update status for each of the uh, products that are there. Otherwise to do this in bulk, you just need to tap here on the update inventory button and uh, that would change the status from ready to receive to received for all of the shipment products so let me tap on update inventory and this would uh, show first the received successfully and now you can see that the status for each of them has been shown as received so we have updated the uh, basically we have uh, updated the inventory uh, in bulk for the incoming shipment products that were there so now let's see uh, how we can update the inventory of uh, by scanning the barcode so for that uh, we'll navigate through uh, stores then configuration and on the configuration page under the web pool block we need to go to the barcode inventory management and from here the admin can update the shipment products uh, inventory through barcode scanning so here the admin uh, needs to tap on the open pop-up to update inventory button and this brings up this particular pop-up as you can see right now and while you're scanning uh, the barcode so of the product so as to update the inventory you need to first make sure that you have tapped here within the entity id field and after that you can directly scan uh, the barcodes and all of those uh, products would be then displayed here under the product description so let me show you that within the user guide itself. So this is how uh, we have shown it in the user guide as well. So while uh, you're scanning the barcodes, uh, you'll be able to then see the entity ID IDs, product description, the SKUs and the quantities uh, that you uh, basically added uh, or updated uh, manually using the uh, barcode itself. And thereafter the admin, after the admin has basically uh, uh, what we scan the products and they are listed here and then the admin just needs to tap here on the receive uh, PO uh, button uh, and uh, that would update the product status in the shipment and the product inventory as well now let me show you how we can generate the uh, barcode PDF so uh, to do so uh, uh, we'll navigate through purchase management and then incoming shipments and uh, here uh, under the incoming shipments uh, we can basically so i'll just click here on the click to response under the actions column uh, because we've already set the status uh, as receipt for all of them so right now we won't be getting the uh, print pdf option so for a fresh one uh, a fresh incoming uh, shipment that has the status as ready to receive uh, you'll be able to see the three options one is the print pdf update inventory uh, which updates the complete inventory within uh, the uh, incoming shipment uh, altogether for all of the products that are within that particular shipment. 
so now here we can tap here on the uh, print PDF on uh, option uh, to generate the barcode uh, PDF so I'll just tap on the print PDF uh, link or the button here and this downloads the PDF let me open that up now you can see that uh, we've generated the uh, what we say as the uh, barcode for the PDF barcode PDF uh, for the incoming shipments and here you can see the incoming shipment number the supplier information and the items ordered along with the barcode for each of the products as well so uh, the admin can also basically uh, uh, what we say as can generate the barcode PDF uh, for the uh, multiple shipments in bulk as well so let me show you that let me close this uh, window so to do so uh, we just need to tap the back here and under the purchase management we are right on the incoming shipments and here we just need to uh, select all of the uh, incoming shipments and from the actions drop down we just need to tap on the print PDF option and that would generate the uh, uh, incoming shipments for all of the uh, all of the incoming orders who are ready to ship right so that's why we are only able to see only the one this particular one that's the fourth one and not the uh, other three that we have because only the fourth one is ready to receive only so that's why we are only able to uh, generate a, a shipment in bulk for that uh, single one if all of these were uh, ready to receive then the admin just needed to check all of these and from the drop down you would have selected the print PDF option to generate the PDF for the incoming shipments and kindly note that uh, whenever the admin confirms or sends the quotation to the supplier the supplier will not get the barcode in the email so therefore the admin needs to send the uh, PDF this particular PDF that we have just downloaded uh, to the supplier manually so that the supplier can make use of these barcodes while sending the shipments to the admin and then uh, the admin can basically scan the shipments and update the inventory very easily so uh, that was much about the Magento 2 barcode inventory management plugin and I hope it helped you out somewhat and if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin or suggestions as well then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.